In this section, we want to take all the different concepts of finding extrema, finding a maximum, finding a minimum, and apply that to some business applications and talk about what those results tell us, what they mean. Each of these applications are going to come down to either maximizing, meaning we want to find a maximum value for a function, or minimizing a function, so trying to find a minimum value. And then depending on what type of function we're talking about, those results are going to have different values or different meanings. So the first few examples we want to talk about optimizing functions. So where a function is given to us or a function is um, more or less given to us. In example one, we're given a revenue function for a one product firm uh, where x represents units produced per day. First thing we want to do is find out what value of x would maximize our revenue function. So switching over to Wolfram Alpha, since we want to maximize our revenue function, we can ask Wolfram Alpha to maximize this function. And again, always a good thing to double check that input imp interpretation, just make sure this matches what we should be expecting. So we want to maximize this revenue function. And our output, in this case, will be a local maximum occurring at x equals 9. And the maximum itself, the function value, would be 676. So what this means is that our revenue is maximized when x is equal to 9. And we'll achieve a maximum revenue of $676. So that's our revenue function being evaluated at x equals 9. So we'll achieve a maximum revenue of $676 when a, there's a production level of 9 units per day. So with each of these functions, more or less, it's going to come down to that if you will have um, some more steps involved. But finding a value that maximizes our function and determining when we use that maximized value for x, or when we use that optimal value for x, what's that maximized function value. So example two is very similar, um, except in this case we're given a demand equation for a certain commodity where x represents the number of units of that commodity produced each day. So in this case the first thing we're asked to do is actually come up with the revenue function itself. So keeping in mind that a revenue function can always be generated by taking x, the number of units produced, number of units sold, times the price that those are sold for gives us a revenue function of x times 1 12th x squared minus 24x plus 1,728. So the first step is generating that revenue function so that then we can find the value for x that would maximize that revenue function. So we'll use Wolfram Alpha to maximize our revenue function, in this case, over that given domain. So in this case, we want to maximize x times 1 12th x squared minus 24x plus 1,728 for 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 144, that given restricted domain. And in this case, we again get our output. So <clears throat> we can check the input. We're maximizing this function over a given domain. And we're getting that maximum value occurring when x is 48. And we're also being given that maximum function value. So in this case, r will be maximized when x is equal to 48. So we'll be achieving a maximum revenue of $36,864 when 48 units are produced each day. Example 3 also follows that very similar pattern. The difference here being that we're given a revenue and cost function, and what we're going to want to maximize is the profit function. So our profit function is always equal to our revenue minus our cost. 
So we could do this by hand or using Wolfram Alpha, we could generate that profit function by taking 40x minus 0.5x squared and subtracting in parentheses the cost function 5x plus 15 to generate our profit function negative 0.5x squared plus 35x minus 15. So we generate our profit function And then we want to find what value for x would maximize our profit function. So we can click on that function. And then ask Wolfram Alpha to maximize that function. We're not given any specific domain. So all we need to do is just maximize that profit function that we found. And in this case, we see that we get our maximum function value at x equals 35 and then our maximum function value is 1,195 halves, which on its own isn't a very practical number to work with. So to get that approximate form, or actually, it's giving us the option right here to get the approximate form. So at x equals 35, we get our maximized function value of about $597.50. So x is maximized at x equals 35. So we get a maximum profit of $597.50 when we produce 35 units.